What are, you gonna, what are you going to do about it if you're in office? Well, the first thing I'm going to do about it in my office is, since we have a lawsuit about this anti-Semitism, is I'm going to propose a policy to remove all those extraneous ethnic studies courses. How, that about, the, how about the exclusion? Are you uh, able the, to... The parental notification exclusion, uh, there's a, that has to go to the legal system. And, and I believe there's already a lawsuit going on uh, against that California AB 1955. So that has to go to the, the legal system for that to happen. But, but I think the, the, what the, the school board can do is, is notify the parent honestly, right? And, and to what they can and they cannot do and just be honest about this and, and instruct the parents. Okay, we cannot do anything. We are bounded by the law uh, because of what we're doing. But these are the legal avenues. This is what the federal law says. And, and we have a copy of that document on, on the rights of parents on what legal avenues they can take at the federal level. What's going on with the school district? In general, I think our age isn't that far off. Eh? When we were young, mm. we already thought it was kind of liberal when when we were young. But there were, to your point, there was a degree of culture right. implemented. Maybe because it's the Philippines, and uh, we're kind of monolith because we're, we're all we were all Filipinos growing up in the Philippines. Right. But here, it's 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 a mosaic or it's an amalgamation of different culture right. melded into like when you like your kids i hope ended up pretty much okay right when did they go to public school also yeah um, uh, both of my children went to public school and then uh, there are some uh, <laughs> there there's some growing pains but they're both adults now but i worry a lot for my grandson isn't it so so different now no it, it is very very different what's going on now and uh it's really scary uh, if if we parents right so if 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 you are in the united states filipino wherever you are in the united states and and, and you have a right to vote mm. you have a united you're a united states citizen please register to vote and vote because your vote may be the difference but may be the one that make a difference to change things going on in your school district it's just very very important your vote really matters your vote really counts so so going back to what's going on and yeah you alluded to uh, marxism earlier, right? Socialism, Socialism, communism, Marxism, yeah. So the separating children from the parents, to me, it's kind of in that ball game. Mm -hmm. Right? Because there, there, are, there are historically, right, what did the, the Chinese Communist Revolution do? They separated children from the parents. Yeah. Uh, the killing fields, right? It was indoctrinating the children that we will take place of your parents. Mm. This is very dangerous, right? Because in a multicultural society, we want to preserve that multiculturalism, yeah. diversity, right? Diversity with respect to each individual culture. Yes. And, and if we interject ourselves in between the children or parents, if you're a government school district, I think it's wrong because now we are, we are interrupting the cultural tradition being passed down to generations. So, so we, we can stop it, but I think it's November 5. It might be our last time to, to, to really make a difference. This election is so polarizing. It, no? It's so polarizing. It's so dividing. I, I'm, I'm so scared about this, actually. But um, for people of faith, there we, we go to the one we believe in who can make a change and th that one would like to bring love in all of the world. And I think if we be treat each other... Uh, in that way that everyone was created in his image and likeness amen so we, we have differences that's okay we have two parties majority that's okay but i think we should not forget what's important right the family is the fabric of of this united states and added nation a strong family united family will make a strong city a strong county a strong state and, and a strong nation but if we are destroying that family what kind of country our children will have 20, 30 years from now. You know the freedoms that we're gonna have? Yeah. If they don't learn to respect their parents, what will give them the incentive to respect authority? Because there's no authority to respect if we divide children and parents. Visit abbaeservices.com for fast medical transcription service.
This podcast episode is brought to you by AB Music Creative.